Welcome back to Autism Live. We're really excited because once again in the studio, we welcome back Alex Lynn. Alex, thrilled to have you here. Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me. And we had you on the show a year ago. Yes. Um, you are an amazing young man oh, who's you. going places, doing things. And at, correct me if I'm wrong, were you 16 or 17 when you first started Autism Rocks? Um, I was about like 16 or 17. Oh, okay. seven, about around there, yeah. Okay. And the first time you did it, you did it in Taiwan. Um, no, it was it was just a small event, but okay. like that was in 2014. Okay. But um, I, I mean, like uh, with my international school, I did a small event there, and then afterwards I um, did an autism rocks concert last year. Yes. And I planned it from um, last January to last April. This year I planned it more extensively. Yes. Because it has to be very good. Yes. Well, because you have standards. I know this. Yeah. You have standards and it's got to be what it's got to be. Yes. But why did why did you have the first event? What spurred that on? Um, I mean, like, I just, after doing my small event, I wanted to make it bigger. But what started the first small event? Why did you want to do an event to begin with? What was happening that made you want to do that? Um, I mean, like, from my, from, um, I saw a lot of, like, um, pain and agony um, in the autism community, community and I really wanted to help them a lot. Yeah. And um, a lot of like, um, I didn't know about autism, but I, I started to know myself more by learning about it, so I just kept going. And like, kind of like, it came out to me and teacher said, do you want to do this concert? Do you want to do like a small event and uh, plan it with us? I'm like, okay, I have nothing else to do. And, then, and I really, um, I, I didn't really have any friends that time and I was really upset. And um, I just feel like this event really brought me, brought my spirits up. Really, it really did. It, it became got, like a thing for you, a cause, and, and, and it's something to rally other people to, right? Yes, it, it gave me purpose in life, which I think was, was very needed during that time because I didn't really have hope at that time. And, and so you did this event in, kind of in conjunction with your school, is that correct? Yes, with my... The um, small event. Yeah, the Thai European School, yes. That's what, that's what it's called, the International British School. And, and what what difference did you see at the school after the small event? Wow, they, they are like, I still contact them to this day. And like, um, they're working with me right now. Um, they're watching, I gotta thank them because um, they're part of my Guardians team that I created this year, that the team behind Autism Rocks now. Okay. And like, um, a lot, like about 20 of them um, who are seniors now with me around the same age, like <clears throat> they decided to help out because they really like love the cause, and they. I, I bet I think they still remember about it. That's why they're um, a part of this cause, and they think like it really can make a big difference. And did you see people getting along better, and there being more yes. acceptance after? I, I feel like um, everyone has matured a lot. Like um, they loved each other. I feel like there's so much love in my um, senior grade, and like the other grades that have seen my event in 2014. A small event yeah and um, they really loved it and I feel like they talk they told me that they love learning things about differences and uh, knowing more about autism they didn't know before so they felt like they didn't know what autism was before and they, until they saw a documentary of a um, kid with autism who uh, really was funny and like had humor and they didn't see that side a lot okay. because like they all thought like it's very negative and stuff so you were able to show autism in a, in a more positive light, and it changed people's behaviors and the way they looked at it. Yes. And, and so then we move forward to you were he living here in the United States, and you met an amazing gentleman that we've also had on the show. You yes. met Ned Spector. And yes. boy, that's a name to know, right? Yeah. Ned's a pretty amazing guy. Yes. And uh, how did you meet Ned? I mean Ned from uh, UCLA in a summer camp um, for sports management entertainment business. Uh -huh. And um, he talked about his um, Salvation Army Rock the Red Kettle concert and I was inspired because he, like, he told me how much he worked with the Jonas Brothers and, how, and like Becky G and Shawn Mendes and the many other stars he had invited, uh, which I'm jealous because I, I tried and like I don't know how he does it. Um, but it's just it's awesome to see like um, someone like his caliber work with me is still uh, I can't fathom it. I, I was so hopeless 
but like I didn't know I was doing Autism and Rocks concert. The first one, I was the first one. I can't even believe it happened. I still don't believe it. And it, I was there. Uh, you yes. and Ned, you know, you pestered Ned, is what I recall. That you, <laughs> I you went up Ned. to him afterwards and said, "I want to do this." Yes, I, I went. And I went here he is, this professional guy who does amazing things, and you just completely kept after him and said, "This is a thing that needs to be done." Yes. Until Ned said, "Okay, I will mentor you through this." Yes. And really became a force. The two of you together, you're yes. like the dynamic duo. Yes. Um, cre and you created this event last year from nothing. Go from doing a small event in Taiwan to having the amphitheater stage at Universal City Walk. Universal Studio City Walk, yes. And did this amazing, amazing event with a, an incredible lineup that the headliner was James Durbin. Yes. Like, get out of town. Like, yes. for a first, Thank you know, you. you do a small event to a big event. It was, it was amazing. I couldn't believe it. And I was there. Um, Thank you. <laughs> and I... Uh, I knew many of the performers that were performing and my son was there viewing and then at the end a lot of kids went out up on the stage and my son was up there too but That's it great. was it was so inspirational I gotta say though the whole night the whole day was really wonderful the biggest moment for me happened during the sound check okay that uh, you guys were all busy and you were running around doing things and I was just sort of hanging out and watching the sound check and seeing people that I knew as they came in, I, I didn't have any f official capacity. I was just there. I was a body that was there. Mm -hmm. But uh, a woman came down because they have it's Universal City Walk. For those of you who don't know, there's this amazing stage that yes. is surrounded by buildings, and it has many tiers of restaurants where you can sit on the, on the balcony and watch what's yes. happening on the stage. It's amazing. Yes, it's really it's amazing. I love it. So a woman came all the way down from the top tier and came all the way down and since there were only a few of us that were standing there for the sound check she came up to me and she said what is happening here and i said oh they're doing the sound check for an event tonight and she said are the people that we've been watching getting up there perform are they people that are on the autism spectrum and i said a lot of them are and she said i had no idea that this was possible she said, I had no idea with autism wow, that what I'm seeing that. is possible. And she said, are you telling me, I get, I get goosebumps now thinking, she's like, are yes, you telling yeah. me that yeah, this same way. is what's possible? And I said, yes, this, that's what this event is about. And she said, I cannot wait to go home and tell my son who was a pediatrician. She was like, I can't wait to go home. So who knows what that led to for this pediatrician. Yes. How, you know, I mean, this is how the world gets changed, Alex. Yes, oh, thank you, you don't have to say. Well, no, so I mean, much. but that is, I mean, you change this, you change this woman, and I know it wasn't the only person, but I, that's my personal story of how I, you know, heard that you had changed a perception. Yeah. And then every, I'm sure that everyone that she talks to now, if autism comes up, she goes, oh yeah, no, wait till I tell you this amazing thing that I saw. Yes. So it's a beautiful, beautiful event. You, you have the new one, uh, this year event is happening when? Next Friday, okay. 7 to 9 p.m. at University Walk again. Okay. And let's talk a little bit about some of the performers that are going to be there. Some of them are the same that were, were there last year. Um, you, I know you're going to have the Miracle Project yes. there. In fact, you, you're now working closer with the Miracle Project. Yes. Did you see the big news that came out yesterday about the Miracle Project? No, no I haven't heard. They, uh, the press release came out yesterday that they have been able to demonstrate and they are, they are uh, science, I want to say this right. It is now proven that doing the Miracle Project and, and using the arts the way they do, um, they have evidence, scientific evidence, to show that it is effective. It is a form of treatment for mm. autism, yeah. that, it, that, uh, that improvement that's happens. Good. It's not just great to work with the arts that these kids get better and make improvements because they're using the arts yes. in the way that the Miracle Project does. So they're evidence-based. Now. Yeah, that's, that, that sounds awesome. It is awesome. It is very, very awesome. It means they'll get more funding sources. But uh, they've paired with you, and in fact, any um, money that is made from it above the cost of the concert, I understand, now goes to the Miracle Project. Is that correct? It does, yes. 
which is amazing. Yes, yes, I'm very happy. Makes a, a great deal of sense yes, that of that's course, the charity yes. that uh, that you guys have settled on. You're also having autism movement therapy. Yeah. And uh, I hear that Logan Shepard is performing again. Yeah, Logan Shepard is performing. Um, I mean, it's not magnified, but of yes. course it is Logan Shepard. Yes. And a few other special guests. Uh, anybody you want to share, or is it a surprise for um, people to come? I mean, he shared it on social media, so I'll just say, um, I heard like the former member of Kiss, uh, Bruce, is coming, I think. I had heard that too. And, that he's um, going to play with uh, Logan Shepard. Yes. We feature Logan Shepard here on the show from time to time. There's a, a video clip that you guys had played last year during the concert really? that we had made um, here at Autism Live that's Logan is a drummer. He's now a, either 16 or about to be 16, and he's a professional drummer um, and on the spectrum and an amazing talent. He's amazing. He, I, after, um, I became very close friends with him like on social media. Oh, but I was so in glad. Taiwan like, for the whole year, preparing for the concert. And I always talked to him about like, preparation for the concert and stuff. Do you know my history with Logan Shepard? Lo Logan Shepard is the when he was a little boy, he was the little boy that I met, that his, I met him and saw how well he was doing and his parents said, you need to take your child to CARD um, because he was a CARD kid. He was being treated at CARD. What was CARD? Uh, CARD is the Center for Autism and Related oh, Disorders. I'm sorry. And, no, that's okay. And um, so we went to CARD because uh, we met Logan and Logan was so awesome. And I said, yes, whatever, yes. whatever these people are doing, that's what I wanna do. And meeting the shepherds changed our lives. And Logan, you know, I, I always say to Logan, you know, he's a rock star now. But when he was five years old, he was my personal rock star that helped me to get kid, get my kid help. So, um, and he doesn't remember that, of course. He was five, and he doesn't remember meeting me. Yeah. But you know, he rocked my world then. He rocks my world now. So let's talk a little bit about what people need to know about the concert next week, about where they need to go, when, like, do they, are there tickets? Do, is there any cost associated to this? It's free admission, and they can come at 7 p.m. But if they want to volunteer, they could um, email me at aklin98 at gmail.com or okay. email the, the official author of Rocks email, rocksautism at gmail.com. Okay. And they can make donations, though. There's no yes. ticket price. The whole thing is totally free. free. But if people want to make a donation to the cost of the concert and anything that goes beyond the cost of the concert gets donated to uh, the Miracle Project, yes. where would they go to make a donation? AutismRocksLA.com. AutismRocksLA.com. You guys also have a Facebook page, right? Yes. Uh, and is, they just look up Autism Rocks to get to there? Yeah, autism rocks. I mean, don't com get confused with the, with the England autism rocks. Is a okay. the American autism rocks? They can recognize it by the logo which yeah. you're wearing right the there, which right is there. the guitar yeah. that's that's puzzle pieces, and you guys can see. I love yeah. uh, the new be logo. Be true, be you. I yes. love that. Is that did that come from you or no, from Dad or both of it you? It came from my, one of my friends in Taiwan. Her name is Irene Kuo, and um, um she's a, I think she's a, Amer a Taiwanese American, and, and she um. She's been so kind, and yeah. uh, she's, she thought that logo was very fitting. Um, it's she's, beautiful. It's amazing that she's, um, I have a lot of neurotypicals helping me with this concert because um, I feel like we need it. I think it's, it's inspirational that they, um, they don't have autism, but they still want to help, help yeah. that cause. And, like, and they're like such good friends like, for me. And like, um, I, I, I never thought like, this would be happening. And, I have so many good friends supporting me, which I thank them a lot. And I love them for helping me, whether they're from Old Christian or my, my past. Everything it came together. Like, it felt like a very good swan song. because. Do you think it's a swan song? A swan song means you're done. Are you going to come back and do it next no, year? No, of course. But, I, yeah, I mean, like, the swan song, like, to a good senior year. Like I, I see your swan song for when you're at, before you go off yes, to college. Yes, before I go to I college. Get it. All right. And it's amazing that we work together, and we will keep continuing working together with yeah. everyone. And hopefully, um, this year they can. Next year, when they go to America for college, they can um, they can hang out 
uh, hang out and come over to the concert, I hope, and volunteer and be there and see it. Well, that brings up, so last year when you did the concert, you were living here in the United States and attending a high, a high school here. Both Christian, and, yes. And then you made the decision to go back to Taiwan yes. and, and and finish school there, because that was what was best for you and right yes, for you. it was best but for me. But now you're a senior. Yes. And you already know where you're going to college? Um, I, I, I think I'm down, I'm still thinking, but I think pretty much the University of Washington, I'm okay. guessing. Uh, um, so you'll be back stateside here for, to go to college. Yes. And do you know what you want to study when you go to college? I've undeclared so far, but okay. I'm, this, this is really interesting. Uh huh. And uh, maybe nonprofit, something like that, because um. I, um, I'm very interested in keeping helping. I want to help other causes in autism too, because um, I really want to help. I, I really feel like in this society right now, we really need someone that really will step up and help other people, have a group of people, like my guardians, and like um, a hero-like scene to it that makes you bring out the hero within them to help other people. So what exactly are the guardians? Tell us about that. The guardians, um, I created that name because I mean like I saw I thought Guardian of the Galaxy and I loved it. So yeah. I just call it the Guardians. It's not the Russian movie The Guardians. No. It's, it, it's just it's another Guardians. But are you excited that the number two is coming out in just a couple of weeks? Oh yes. I am um, I love I'm a fucker for Mar Marvel movies. I love it and like um, I'm just so excited for that film. I'm excited for that film too. But and we can talk about that more in yes. a minute. But the, so you came up with this name for the Guardians. Who are they and what do they actually do? There are a bunch, I, I um, want them to make, I made them like, they have to be like younger generation based because I really want to inspire like change in the younger generation so we can have a better future in the future. Yes. So like they can spread this down to their, to their kids and to the other, to their, the kids' kids and um, keep passing it down generation by generation. I feel like you really make, that's how change can be very effective I think and um, the younger generation is so inspi inspirational like any parts of the world, like um, a lot of young people do have the power to do that, and I feel like sometimes people don't hear them, and I feel like sometimes they have, they can do it, but they have to believe in themselves, and I think that's a good way to let to show that we um, care about these people that feel bullied and stuff, and that even people that don't have autism are coming together to help out their cause or helping um, people who are different. And are the guardians? Are they typically people who are neurotypical, or it really doesn't matter? They're it doesn't matter anyone. On? Okay. And so, if somebody's watching and they want to be a guardian, can they sign up to be a guardian? And are there responsibilities to be a guardian? Do you get a commemorative pin? What's you know we're, what what happens with we're, this? We're still coming up with the criteria and stuff, but okay. um, I do usually pick guardians that are usually like um, they have like responsibility that can give them ideas to uh, the Autism Ross concert or any other events that we plan to put on in the future. Of course, we want them to um, think of some ideas. I mean, they might they don't have to do 24-7 like I do every single day, but um, of course, they can come up with some ideas and think of social media ideas and anything that can be trending to really make a difference in like little ways because we have so many members and it. We can't tell them all to do like 24-hour work on this. We can tell them to do small ideas and small ideas, and it'll build, it'll build up to a, to, to a lot of work, which is good. Well, and you are the living embodiment of that. You started oh, with you. this small idea, this concert uh, that was like a school thing, that now is on the universal stage. Yes. It, and it is amazing. And, and it makes it possible for all kinds of things to happen, things that we can't even track. But yes. Uh, truly amazing, and so it's n not this Friday, not tomorrow, but Next a week Friday. from tomorrow, uh, from seven to nine, yes. Universal. It's totally free, mm -hmm. um, but uh, I would encourage people to get there a little bit early so that because it's uh, it is an open theater. There, open there, where, the places to sit are few and far between. Uh, but what's lovely is there's an open circle where last year the kids all danced and had such a good time. Yeah, it'll still be a sing along, so it'll be, it'll be fun. Oh. And um, my new host, Will Wayne Back, who is um, who is quite amazing. He's a sophomore, and uh, he's from Oath Christian. And uh -huh. um, I got to know him last year, but this year he's 
he went on the Ryan, he uh, was on a telephone interview with the Ryan Secret show um, when he was very little in Connecticut. Uh-huh. And uh, he had an Instagram um, channel who had 112,000 followers. And so he's going to be your co-host he's gonna or gonna be your my, host? He's going to be my co-host. Uh-huh. And I, uh, I think uh, we practiced yesterday on our script. Script so we can get ready and um, he like I think he's I think he's pretty good I think people will, will love him when he comes out on stage okay. with me. Uh, that's very exciting. I didn't realize you had a co what and what is his name? Will Weinbach. Okay, so that'll be fun and Ned of course will be there. Ned Spector. Yes, and, and we should do a plug for Ned. Ned is yes. an amazing, amazing young man, a a, a force of. <laughs> positivity yes and uh he is doing speaking and motivational speaking yes and if you have an opportunity to see ned specter it isn't just speaking it's performing yes he is musically inclined and a really good dancer yes my goodness he's a good dancer and so um you thought from the shows i've i i i the one night that i was able to that he was performing that i got to go i couldn't go because something an emergency came up but um, oh. but I've seen the videos and he's amazing mm -hmm. and he's a very inspirational and positive guy who makes good things happen. He's, a, he's awesome. So guy. we all love Ned. Uh, well, I can't wait to be there next week. Um, really excited to be there and I'm really excited that you continue to move forward and do this. Is there anything else you want to tell our audience before we go? I also want to thank um, Melissa and Trey Honey for okay. um, our new assistant producer that um, came in, that joined very late in February but she has been such an integral part in daily operations too and Will for finding Trap at the Trail and Adana to perform this year so and if, and if you want to come and really see difference, make, making it, if you want to really make a difference, please come to this concert. Okay. And uh, follow at Autism Rocks on all forms of social media and we post very interesting. I hope you'll, you'll enjoy the videos that we post there. And in fact, we have a video that, uh, that you guys have on your Facebook and I didn't ask you beforehand, is it okay for us to show it? Oh yeah, go ahead. Okay, so we're, we're as we say goodbye to Alex and get ready to go into Bonnie Yates, we're gonna show the video that you can find on Facebook that has mm -hmm. to do with last year's event. This is, And thank you, Alex, so no much problem. for being here. No problem, of course. Um, so this is Autism Rocks. I'm Ned Spector, I'm the host of Autism Rocks LA, and we are going to rock City Walk tonight. The Autism Rocks' is mission is to spread awareness for autism. So tonight, everybody's connected to autism, and they are super talented. They're just as talented as any other top artists out there. It's a group of people coming together and practicing what they love, no matter who they are. Let it be. All right, my name is uh, Rio, aka Soul Shaka. My name is August, aka DJ Big Plush. I am extremely excited about tonight. My name is James Durbin. I'm here for Autism Rocks. I have a good opportunity to showcase that people with autism are awesome and hopefully um, show people that being different is okay. Tonight, it's about shedding the blue light on autism and showing people that we are special, we are unique, and we are talented, and above all else, we're just like you. I want to show people like with autism that if I can do something, they can do it, because I have autism. No matter what you have or who you are, everyone's perfect the way they are. Just because you may have autism doesn't make you any less cool or whatever. You're rocking autism, you're cool, and we wanted to use music as a platform to spread that message. When I was 10 years old, I was diagnosed with high-functioning autism, also known as Asperger's syndrome. I like to show kids that uh, it's possible to have a life, that autism is just a blockade, it's just a barricade, something that you have to get over. But once you do and you find a way to cope with it, you find a way to live with it, that you can have a happy, healthy, hungry lifestyle. Given opportunities and inclusion, we can unite as one to defeat the darkness. Since I uh, came, first came here from Taiwan, I'm, all I wanted to do was do an event like this. Drawing, dancing, music, screaming, art, everything. It, it, it encompasses what we're able to do. And that is just a single piece of what makes autistic people so important and so special. Autism rocks. Autism rocks! Autism rocks! Autism rocks!
is my mission to make sure that we try to minimize the amount of bullying, inspire greatness in people, and think that different is okay, and different is good. Amazing. Oh. Autism Rocks in the books. Alex, the boss, right here. Yeah. <laughs>